you guys. Why are you standing there? Come on in, it's cold. Jesus, don't be fucking ridiculous. So, uh, welcome to our 100 euro house in Serbia. I wanted to film this video like a long time ago, but I was delaying it because we're trying to uh, renovate our house and I wanted to show you the result like before and after, but I guess it will take me too long and will never end, so <laughs> I'm gonna show you how it looks like now. I didn't do anything special, so you're gonna see our house as it is okay and we, we're starting with uh, with hallway if you can say that and not hallway like a corridor or something so here it is you just come in and here's the little wardrobe with outwear and daniel with my bag mama so. uh, cigarettes skulls so some of my bags daniel's hats outwear and here is our shoes. We're planning to to buy a stand for shoes here because it's a little bit inconvenient for now. And here you can see my shoes. <laughs> for some reason, it's here and not there. Um, the box was empty. Beer bottles. It's actually a very interesting subject to talk about. Um, so in Serbia, you buy beer and you 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 keep the empty bottle. And then you return empty bottle and buy and get new beer but cheaper than it was in the first time and plastic bottle we will recycle it later one thing that bothers me a lot in this corridor or hallway that we don't have um i don't know the word in english uh, but in russia we call it uh, so what predbanik is for it's keep cold away from your house so you you come in into your apartment or you come in into your house and you you, you you take off your outwear and shoes and you come into a warm house and all the cold it, it remains in Predbani and we don't have this thing here so it's really cold in here in this hallway really really cold I'm not gonna show you this room a lot. Uh, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just. I just want to say that it's Daniel's um, bedroom. Uh, he sleeps separately, and I already talked about it in this video. So kids should sleep separately. It's kind of messy inside because we're still in the process of renovating. So there are lots of stuff, lots of things that just. Okay, it's just piles of shit that we need to, you know, sort to get rid of, of uh, some of them and, you know, um, to declutter a lot of things. So this room is not ready to be shown. And this is the bathroom. Use the light. Okay. Well, just simply pretty old bathroom. You know, kind of satisfied with it. It has everything that we need, like a shower and toilet and the sink. In the beginning, we didn't have uh, any washing machine, so we bought this one and it's used. And it's German one. And oh my God, I'm so satisfied with it. It's so good and it works well, really well. But the one thing that was struggling with, um, both of us, Vlad and I, uh, were studying um, <laughs> German in university, and, but <laughs> we still can't figure out what means this and this, uh, why here's the same numbers here and there. So I understand that this is uh, degrees, yes, degrees, So, but it's the same. So what does this thing mean and, and this thing? So if you know German, please... <laughs> Please help us to figure out how it works. It's just a little stand with toilet paper and uh, some gloves and, and you know and stuff. I bought this cute uh, basket, uh, laundry basket, from Chinese uh, store. So you see, it's pretty Chinese. <laughs> well, anyway, I like it. 
and I want to buy the same for Daniel's toys. This thing a little bit, you know, small for all our things. There's my husband's and mine, my cosmetics. I don't have a lot. I also bought this cotton, which is pretty cool, I suppose. And this thing for shampoos and whatever. So it's kind of cold here too, especially at night and in the morning. Um, and we're planning to to install uh, like here or there, uh, you know, kind of a heater uh, to heat the, the bathroom before you before you take a shower because it's really cold and Daniel feel a little bit uncomfortable when he wants to poop and it's cold here and he always like oh, it's cold. <laughs> But overall, um, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's okay, and it's it's fine. Mm, this is the main character of this house. Our bedroom, aka living room, aka kitchen, aka working office, aka everything. Come on in. So before it was completely different, we didn't have this sofa, this coffee table, a lamp, a pantry, and that bar table, and all the appliances. That's a very difficult word actually to pronounce, appliances. Uh, I, I'm still struggling with it. Well, anyway, we bought this sofa like about um, a month ago and it was pretty expensive like about 80,000 dinars um, but we bought it for 30, 35 or 30,000 because it has a little bit a little imperfection I'm gonna fix it soon you can ask Xenia it's been a, it's been a month already and you you still didn't fix it yes I did not Well, 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 the last piece of sofa, and we're done. So why do I call it a bedroom? Because it transformed into a bed and it's pretty big for both of us because I'm tall and Vlad is tall and it, it, it works for us really good. I really, really like this sofa because I can do whatever I want here. Actually, our plan before we uh, bought this sofa was to put it like uh, near the window so we can separate the, the zones like dining zone, kitchen zone with, with the living zone but uh, it didn't work because uh, the sofa turned out to be bigger than we expected it to be so it's right here now and we're planning to, to move it um to the other side because we want to hang the tv somewhere here because we don't have tv yet and i want to watch netflix okay then this cute coffee table i don't feel uh that i want to show what's inside because oh my god no no Daniel put absolutely everything in it that he feels uh, belong there so it's 24 7 stuffed with mess also we bought this carpet in Ikea uh, at first I did like it but now I feel it's you know, kind of shabby you know what I'm saying I want to replace it as for the kitchen um, we did have a different uh, fridge before and our landlord is just the sweetest lady in the world. She provided us everything uh, in this house to, to start living with, um, a gas stove and um, a fridge and a big round table 
and the chairs uh, and the, the huge sofa. We were provided with everything that we can start to live with and it's just, that was incredible. But then, thanks to my Patreon friends who support me there, uh, we were able to, to renew our appliances and to buy a new fridge, a new gas stove, we bought a brand new, not used. Um, I'm absolutely fine with buying uh, used things, but we were able to buy brand new things, and uh, why not? Also, we've got this microwave and a couple of shelves. You can see uh, some messy stuff like uh, coins, some pills, um, someone's cards, and, and, and the book that says uh, homemade samagon. Samagon, it's uh, moonshine, moonshines and all that stuff. And the board uh, that our friends gifted us to our housewarming party. Also, we have this cute painting uh, painted my, uh, by my friend Marina from Belgrade. And this is actually our house. Oh my God, it, this is a precious thing. So we have here uh, half uh, racks with gas and half the electricity and the oven itself. Elec elec electric electrical one? No, I'm not mistaken. Get this wrong. The sink and place where I dry all the plates. Here, I keep all the plates and plastic containers, and there's rice. Uh, pastas, all the stuff, Japanese dashi, here we go, some messy board, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's uh, cocoa, um, some cookies and tea that my friend brought me uh, a few days ago from from Russia, some maple syrup and uh, porridge for Daniel, some cups, kind of messy, I know, but it is what it is, our fridge! Oh my god, you guys, I want to share right now. I found something spicy in Serbia. Look at this. It's a local one, a local production, it's Serbian sauce, black naga. It's spicy lutein, I mean spiciness. Eight out of ten. Awesome. Just awesome. And it's spicy. Finally, I found something spicy. And I know that they have. Uh, different flavors, so I'm in the market. I'm in the market to to find all of them. Yeah, well, nothing really special. Just a regular fridge. I really wanted to have like dining area, but I still can't figure out how how to how to organize it. And I decided just to buy a a bar table. It's for me. It's really convenient to to cook here because it's tall enough like here uh, but doesn't like it but I do like it a lot and we're planning to buy two uh, bar chairs right here so one of us can cook something and the other can just sit here drink beer and you know just just talk here I keep some spices like soy sauce and sesame oil I need to my new ones because I almost ran out of them. Salt, you know, spices. And this shelf is supposed to be a bar, but it's already emptied. But some towels and Christmas um, rubber, onion, potato, water, beetroot, things to fight with mold, and vinegars. Now you see this empty space that's supposed to be for a dining area and this is our fireplace <laughs> you can say that it's gas fireplace it's not the fireplace i don't know how to say it in english like you know ah the heater the heater gas heater that's what it is and here's the daniel stories that's why I want to buy a new um, basket for toys because IKEA box, you know, uh, yeah, looks uh, pretty shabby. You might be wondering what this chair doing here. 
Um, I'm moving it from here to there, from here to there. <laughs> it's not belong here. Uh, I put it here because I wanted to film like um, uh, the room from different angle. Also, we're about to buy a curtains and hang in there. There's the old one. I just forgot to, to take it off, but there's the view in our yard. And this roller, roller, rollers, how to say it, roller, cur roller curtains or something. Pretty cool thing, you know, you don't have to need uh, an actual curtains, but only have this ones. But I want to have an actual curtains to, you know, decorate the space. I usually work here and I eat here, sitting on the floor and eating on the, on the coffee table. Um, I like this idea because I love a lot of uh, Korean culture and they always like are sitting on the floor, eating, doing some stuff and I really like that and I find this really comfortable and convenient way to, to live. We still don't have lampshade here and there and in Russia we call it lampochka <laughs> ilicha uh, but I'm still in the market searching for a good lampshade and curtains and all that stuff, you know. There are lots of things that needs to be done uh, here in this house, but I suppose we're so lucky that we found this house for 100 euro, plus of course we pay for electricity, gas and water. You know what happening in the world now, lots of refugees and Russian immigrants are coming to different countries, especially in Serbia, and prices like increased and it's just impossible to rent anything in Belgrade for like 300 euros now. And we're not living in Belgrade, of course, uh, we live in a really, really small town, one hour away from Belgrade. If you guys want, I, I can make a video about our neighborhood, about our town, if you're interested. So yeah, this is it. I know this tour was like, you know, kind of messy. Uh, I know I didn't film a lot um, past weeks because we were really, really sick and Daniel is still sick. Uh, he has a running nose and he's coughing. Um, but anyways, I want to do it now. And yeah, huge thanks to my Patreon friends for supporting me there. And special thanks. Why am I doing this? I think it's because of flu. <laughs> huge thanks to my Patreon friends for supporting me. And special thanks to Martin from Sweden and Eric for supporting my channel in this month. If you want to join my Patreon, link in the pink comment and yeah i think that's pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you the next one next week <laughs> bye